Just west of here is the Hollywood Hills, topped with the world-famous Hollywood sign. Well, a couple weeks ago, we caught up with four-time Pro Stock champion Jack Coughlin, who spent his off week with his son, Jack III, and his fiance as they cheered on their hometown, Ohio State Buckeyes. Hi, I'm Jack Coughlin, and what do we do on weekends we have off? Well, we come to the Ohio State football games. Today, we're OSU versus Purdue, and uh, we're going to root on our Buckeyes. Go Bucks! Samantha Kenny and Jack, the cornhole. Whoa, nice shot, Samantha. Well, Jack is a big story here this weekend. And a few minutes ago, John Kernan caught up with him. After winning four Pro Stock Championships and 52 national event victories, Jed Coughlin Jr. has decided to give that up and go sportsman racing next year. Tell me about that. <laughs> well, you know, I've been going at this pretty strong since the early 90s and uh, just have had one heck of a run. I've had 100% uh, uh, support from my family and, and everyone at Jeg's, and that's been fantastic. And, and uh, you know, when I came back to Pro Stock Racing in 2007 after taking a year off, you know, I'd set a couple of goals for, for my Myself and for our teams and uh, and uh, we had a fantastic run uh, and I'm just ready to kind of maybe kick back uh, run a few elective races and, uh, and uh, maybe just take a year or two off so see what happens what about on the pro side any chance we might see in something that burns a little nitro <laughs> you know uh, the thoughts always there no question about it uh, you know I grew up uh, the last one of the first cars I ever got to personally wrench on was one of my dad's top fuel cars with my brothers and uh, love the smell of nitro love top fuel dragsters but but uh, don't, uh, I, I don't think anyone can get their hopes up. Uh, I'm a pro stock guy. I love pro stock. It's uh, a lot of challenging, a lot of challenging, uh, you know, for me behind the wheel. And, and uh, you know, I would see uh, a possible return someday uh, behind the wheel of a pro stock machine. All right. Well, best of luck to you. Thanks. Thank you. Man, that opens the door for all kinds of questions. What happens at Victor Cagnazzi? Victor has been helping Dave Connolly along. What's going to happen there? Well, I don't know. Only time will tell, but that is big news. Jags Coughlin's considered one of the best natural drivers in the yours. business. And, uh, you know, you can't blame him. I mean, it's not like he hasn't done a lot in this sport. He's accomplished quite a few things, so I can't, uh, I can't blame him for just kind of taking a step back for a little bit. Now he is on the line, sitting currently 13th alongside of Kurt Johnson, who is 14. Kurt has to get out of it. He's all over the place. Let's see what Jeggy can come up with. And what he comes up with. 7, 9, 2, 10, 0, 8. Good job. Thank you, Roy. Thanks. Uh, felt like it slid out there a little bit. Uh, I couldn't tell if it was clutch or wheel speed. Uh, kind of sounded like wheel speed, I guess. Well, you heard him say kind of slid out there, and he had to work the wheel a little bit, so that might be an indication that it might have been wheel speed because the engine goes up. It's hard to tell unless the car moves around a little bit, but that was made his best run of the week and didn't improve his position. It's still a 657.9, not a bad run. Early in the qualifying, but Jeg has the best ET of the session.